everyone. My name is Samantha Harding. And I'm Peter Rawless. And welcome to your Boise State Newsline for the week of April 19th, 2017. Boise State is continuing to plan for the Spring 2017 Commencement Ceremony to be held Saturday, May 6th on the Blue Turf in Albertson Stadium. Boise State President Bob Kustra spoke with the Arbiter in a panel interview and shared his thoughts on the logistics of hosting this outdoor event. Graduates will be provided with water bottles in case of high temperatures, as well as rain ponchos should the weather require them. Goal posts have also proven to be an issue as the post in the south end zone will potentially obstruct the view of those looking toward the stage on the 50-yard line. All in all, Custer said that they have tried to think of solutions to any possible problems to happen on the big day. Finding a place to pray on campus has been an issue for those of the Muslim faith at Boise State, leading to some students to come forward in search of a safe space. In Taylor Munson's article for the Arbiter this week, she spoke with Nicole Nimmons, the Executive Director of Campus Services, who said a meeting has been set up with some students from Saudi Arabia and Kuwait to address this issue. There are two mosques in Boise, but they are far away from campus, and international students typically don't have a vehicle, according to Munson's article. President Kustra said in a panel interview, what we need to do is find a permanent place where they can be guaranteed access no matter when, whenever they need it. Boise State psychology professor Charles Hauntz spoke at the third consecutive TEDx Boise event on Saturday, April 8th about his work with deception detection. I attended the event for my Arbiter article and spoke with Dr. Hauntz about his work with polygraph testing as well as the Innocence Project. He shared his thoughts on the issues within the legal system regarding false confessions as well as other means of people being wrongfully convicted. Hans also spoke about the commonality of lies in everyday interpersonal communication, stating that statistics show people can only detect lies about 54% of the time. He ended his presentation with some advice for the audience. Quote, don't believe anything just because you want to believe that it's true or because you're afraid it's true. And now we have Jamie Bingham with this week's sports recap. Hey guys. Hey Jamie. hey Jamie. Well, there's only two weeks left in the semester, but there was also some big news that hit Bronco Athletics this week. First up, it was announced this week that Boise State will drop wrestling from its university list of intercollegiate sports, and baseball will be added in its place. Baseball is the only Mountain West sponsored sport not offered at Boise State, and because of bu budgetary requirements for the addition, wrestling has been removed as the first step in allowing the baseball plans to move forward. Wrestling student athletes are free to transfer if they want to continue to pursue their, pursue their wrestling elsewhere, but scholarships will be awarded to students who continue their education here in Boise. There's currently no official time frame for when baseball will begin, but the athletic department has expressed their commitment to moving forward as fast as possible. In basketball news, Boise State will host the first and second rounds of the 2021 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. This is the 10th time at Taco Bell Arena has hosted the tournament, including the upcoming 2018 Western Conference Championship. Tickets for next year's tournament games are currently on sale for those who hold men's basketball season tickets each of the past two seasons. You can find more information on each of these stories at broncosports.com. Turning now to scores from the weekend, men's be excuse me, women's beach volleyball took losses Saturday against California 3-2 and Stanford 4-1. Women's softball also lost Saturday against San Jose State 3-1, and men's tennis took a loss Saturday against Fresno State 4-1. That's all for sports this week. If you want to check out more highlights and press conferences with players and coaches, go to our Broncos Sports Hub on our YouTube channel, Boise State UTP. Thank you, Jamie. Yeah. We're now going to head over to Brad Sloan for this week's weather report. Thanks, guys. This week's weather is brought to you by weather.com. So with the semester coming to an end and us going to, into dead week, as you can see, we have some rain heading our way. So starting off with Thursday, we have showers all day with a high of 53 and a low of 36. Friday, it's going to be a high of 61 and a low of 43, sunny all day. For the weekend, Saturday, high of 70 with a low of 49. It's going to be kind of sunny, but kind of windy, so be careful out there. Sunday, it's a high of 63 with a low of 42. And then Monday and Tuesday, we've got showers all day with Monday at a high of 60 and a low of 45. And on Tuesday, a high of 58 and a low of 44. And finally, on Wednesday, it's a high of 59 and a low of 41 with showers all day. My name is Brad Sloan, your weatherman with your weather plan. Back to you guys. Thank you, Brad. Well, that's all the news we have for you this week. For all these stories and more, be sure to pick up a copy of The Arbiter anywhere on campus or visit them online. From all of us here at your Boise State Newsline, I'm Peter Rollis. And I'm Samantha Harding. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.